All right, everyone, as promised, this is your midterm review instructional video, okay? I have your algebra topics from our review at the beginning of the year. And we have our geometry topics, which we've been covering in the past several months, okay? Notice that everything that we need to know skill-wise is right here on the front page. And if you look on the bottom, I broke down the midterm for you. It's going to be 16 multiple choice. And there's going to be six short response where you have to show your work. Okay. As we go through this review, if there's any of these topics that are listed in this box that you seem to have trouble with, go back to my instructional videos from the year. I have them labeled and color coordinated for you. Okay, Visit these links if you need help with certain areas of the review. Combining like terms. Like terms are terms that contain the same variables raised to the same power. Only the numerical coefficients are different. In an expression, only like terms can be combined. We combine like terms to shorten and simplify algebraic expressions so we can work with them more easily. Okay, to combine like terms, you add the coefficients and keep the variables the same. So I notice I have a 10a here, and keep the symbol in front, a plus 20a. Well, that's going to make 30a. Okay, then we have a minus 12b and a minus 8b. So what's negative 12 minus 8? Well, that's negative 20b. Last, you have 6 minus 3, which is just a positive 3. Okay, you simplified. We can't simplify any further, and that's all combining like terms is. Okay, you're going to see some like terms uh, examples pop up on your midterm on the multiple choice. Same with distribution, okay? Algebraic distribution means to multiply each of the terms within the parentheses by a term that is outside of the parentheses. So all I'm going to ask you to do is draw your arrows from the term outside to everything on the inside. Okay, distribution is fairly simple because we said it's multiply. 3 times a is 3a. Three, 3 times 10 is 30. 4 times b is 4b. 4 times 15 is 60. And 4 times 4a is 16a. 100 times k is 100k. 100 times negative 5 is negative 500. 12 times r is 12r. 12 times negative 10t is negative 120t. 12 times 2 is 24. Again, you're going to see distribution in the multiple choice section of your midterm. Solving equations, same thing. A lot of these are going to be in your multiple choice. You have one-step equations, two-step equations, and multi-step. One step, you just identify what's happening. I see x is being added by 5. I'm going to use the subtraction property of equality. x equals 10 minus 5 is 5. Two step, I need to get rid of my constant first. So we have a minus 6. I'm going to add it on both sides. And 2x equals 18. Now this is 2 times x, so I'm going to divide by 2. And x equals 9. Now, multi-step, if you notice, we have distribution on one side, and then we have combining like terms as our second equation on the other side. So it's just literally what we learned on the last page. 3 times x <clears throat> is 3x. 3 times 5 is 15, which equals 33. Subtract 15 on both sides, and 3x equals 18. Divide by 3, divide by 3, 3's cancel, and x equals 6. On the right-hand side, 2x plus 2x makes 4x, and 5 plus 3 makes 8, which equals 24. Minus 8 on both sides, 4x equals 16. Divide by 4 on both sides, 4's cancel, and x equals 4. Okay, there's going to be some multiple choice that give you an equation and they ask you which property of equality you would have to use, okay? Well, I see x divided by 2, 
So I'm gonna multiply by two on both sides. Twos are gonna cancel and X would equal 24. Now it's not gonna ask you to solve, it's gonna ask you which property of equality we're using. This is just, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. So since you multiplied on both sides, that's the multiplication property of equality. Okay. For your next one, you'd have to divide by two on both sides. That's your division property of equality. Here you have an x plus 10. You'd subtract on both sides. That's your subtraction property of equality. And here you'd add by 100 on both sides. So that's your addition property of equality. Okay, there's going to be several multiple choice on these. Put a big star next to sequence and patterns. There's going to be two of these on the part two, okay, where you have to show your work. Now, I've already started how you calculate the patterns or the sequence uh, by writing the shape size and by writing the colors. All right, square is one. Circle is your second figure, triangle is your third figure, arrow is your fourth figure. And the pattern starts over. Square is your fifth figure, circle is six, triangle is seven, arrow is eight. And we're going to continue that pattern through a few more times. Okay. In terms of color, you're going to do the same. Red is one. Red is also 4, and red is 7. Green is 2, 5, and 8. Blue is 3, 6, and would be 9. And then you can keep the pattern going. So they're going to ask, what is the color of the 11th figure? Well, if I look at 11 on the color side, I see green. And it says, what is the shape of the 15th figure? I look at 15, the figure's triangle. Now, we're not going to write out 60 and 80 figures. There's no reason to do so, okay? What you're going to notice is there's a pattern here for color, 3, 6, 9, 12. These are multiples of 3. 60 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, the color must be blue. Same here. You're going to notice for arrow, 4, 8, 12, 16. It's multiples of 4. 80 is a multiple of 4, too. So it must be an arrow. Okay, sequence and patterns continued. You can see these in your multiple choice. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. 64 times 2 is 128. And 128 times 2 is 256. Here you have 100 minus 5 is 95. 95 minus 10 is 85. 85 minus 15 is 70. So your pattern would continue. 70 minus 20 is 50. And 50 minus 25 is 25. Here you have 400 divided by 2 is 200. 200 divided by 2 is 100. 100 divided by 2 is 50. And 50 divided by 2 is 25. Okay. If students study their midterm reviews, then they will score higher on the midterm. Well, your hypothesis is the first portion of, this, uh, of the phrase, right after the word if. So students study their midterm. The conclusion is right after the word N. They will score higher on their midterms. Converse means to flip the entire statement. So if students score higher on their midterms, then they studied their midterm reviews. Inverse means to negate. If students didn't study their midterms, uh, midterm review, then they will not score higher on their midterm. Contrapositive is to do both converse and inverse at the same time. If students didn't score higher on their midterms, then they didn't study their midterm review. This is going to be a part two. You're going to have to write out sentences given 
an original conditional, okay? Last section, um, it's things that we're pretty familiar with. All segments parallel to AD. This was on our last quiz. So here's AD. BC, FG, and EH are all parallel. Okay. Next part says all segments parallel to EF. Well, EF, DC, AB, and HG are all parallel. Now they're going to ask about planes that are parallel to E, A, oh, I'm sorry, A, B, F, A, B, F. So the back part of the cube is going to be parallel to what? And it's going to be parallel to the front plane of the cube. And since they went E, A, B, I'm going to call it H, D, C. Last, they're asking for EAD, and what plane is parallel to EAD? Well, that would be the right side, FBC. Okay, your angle pairs, corresponding angles. Remember, put your boxes around your groupings of angles, and which ones go together, A and E. B and F, C and D, whoops, C and G, and D and H. Your linear pairs create straight lines. Okay, so we have quite a few of these. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. That's not it because you still have one more line. We could look at the transversal and pair them this way A, C, B, D, E, G, F, H. Right, your alternate interiors are C and F, and also D and E. Your exteriors alternate are B and G, and angle A and H. Same side interiors, same side of the transversal on the inside, C and E, D and F. Same side exterior, A and G. And B and H. Your verticals are your bow ties, so those are diagonal to each other, C and B. A and D. E and H. And F and G. All right, the last part, again, 
it's going to be a short response. You have your transversal equations, okay? Identify the angle pair. Well, these angles are alternate exterior. Alternate exterior angles are congruent, which means they equal each other. This was our last quiz, okay? So 2x plus 10 equals 150. Minus 10 on both sides. 2x equals 140. Divide by 2 on both sides. And x equals 70. It's going to be the last question on your quiz. All right, make sure you review this. Make sure you're comfortable with the study guide. And like I said, if you're missing anything or struggling, go back here, visit whatever link for whichever section of the midterm you need help with. Okay, thanks for watching. Good luck.